Welcome back to another episode of DFIR in 120 seconds. Today's topic, Prefetch. Windows Prefetch has been around since Windows XP. Its purpose is to accelerate application startup. Essentially, whenever you start a program, Prefetch will observe the first 10 seconds of execution to understand what additional content like DLLs it loads. So the next time Windows boots up, it can preload frequently used objects into memory preemptively. So where is the forensic value of that artifact? The prefetch files are stored in the Windows prefetch directory, and the file names contain the name of the executable and the hash that is derived from the location of the executable on the file system. So if you run notepad.exe from two different locations, you'll get two entries with different hashes. At a minimum, a prefetch file gives you the name and path of the executable as well as the number of executions and the first and last execution timestamp. Take care when interpreting those, they will be up to 10 seconds off as the prefetch file only gets updated after the 10 seconds observation interval. The timestamp might be off less than 10 seconds when the application runs shorter than that. Starting with version 26 of Prefetch, used in Windows 8.1, the Prefetch files store at least 7 execution times. This will give you 8 execution times at best, as the creation time of the Prefetch file still points at the first time of execution. So now to summarize, existing Prefetch files are always a proof of execution and can give you up to 8 execution times. They remain on the systems even after the executable is deleted. They show which DLLs the executable loaded in the first 10 seconds, thus giving hints of the functionality of potential malware even after it has been deleted. So thanks for watching, don't forget to subscribe and see you next time.